Well, this, my friend, is a problem. Allah says in Surah Tabarak in verse 2, هو الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عمل It is He, the Almighty, who created death and life to test you, to try you. Who among you would do good deeds? So, if you look at this period of your life, which probably is less than a year, you would find that it is making you forget all the blessings and the favors of Allah throughout the rest of that period. You forgot everything else Allah had favored you with, or blessed you with, or given you, without any return from you. Only because of this year, maybe because of the six months, maybe because of the three months that are bad. SubhanAllah, don't you know that every night is followed by the break of dawn and the rising of the sun? Every, no matter how dark it is, Allah will bring the sun up. But you have to wait a bit. So, This is a test from Allah. The night cannot be for two. Then you have, if you go against Allah's will, you have lost. If you lose interest in prayer and say, I don't feel like praying because Allah is not doing me any favors and I'm not able to get a job and my wife left me and my kids are uh, looking down at me, then you have lost the test and nothing will change. So be a sensible and wise person. When a calamity strikes, if my loved one dies, if I cry and bang my head in the wall, he will not become alive again. But if I'm patient and say, Alhamdulillah, and seek Allah's forgiveness, then he will not come back to life again, but I will be rewarded by Allah. In the first incident, I would be sinful, and he would not go back or come back to life again. Therefore, you choose what you want to choose. Be patient. Be Allah has decreed upon you. And keep on looking for a job. And keep asking Allah Azza wa for assistance. And have your full trust in Him. And Allah will change the matters into best. And the sun will rise again. Final question, inshallah.